I got some bangers for you today. And you already know we reloading the boat. Now, why is that? Because some of our plays are showing signs of a buying opportunity. And these are the plays that stock analysts say are going to 5X in under a year. And I don't have it in my heart to leave you uninformed. I need you prepared for Monday. You know, we can't wait for Monday. I want you to fix your bow tie, fix your jacket. I want you to feel good. So if you're one of those 10,800 people that hit that notification bell, shout out to you. You always show me what time it is every single day you show me what time it is shout out to you again and if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds primarily now let's get straight to the point here we go first one on the list and we already knocked it out the park with this one but it's selector biosciences inc and a lot of y'all have been asking when to get back in when to get back in i seen a million chances in the last month to get back in on this so i gotta let you know so you prepared on monday so stock analysts they think this one is gonna 5x and Selector is a pharmaceutical company. For those who don't know, this is the one that does the targeted cancer treatment that we talked about. And if you got in with us, we got in way back when it was 160. However, when we got in at 160, it dipped on us to 150. But you know what we do when it dip? Boom, we strike. All right, so then we loaded up again on that. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably got in on 190, but that's still good because currently this thing is $2.21 a share. They're up 7% on a day, they're down 3% on a week, and they're down 8% on a year. Now, why is this one on a list to look out for next week? It's on the list because they've been swinging between 230 and 195 like for like a month. They've just been swinging up and down and up and down. Now, you will have your chance to get in if you're paying close enough attention and you know what to look for. Let's get into what the stock analysts got to say about this. Five stock analysts, rated selector, five of them think it's a buy at the current price. Zero think it's a hold and zero think it's a sell. Why? Because they have been knocking their earnings out of the park. The expectations, they just been blowing past them. Okay, now, currently the price targets that they have, they have it on $10 on the high, they got it on $3 on the low, and they increased their median price target. It was $5 at the median, but now the stock analysts have a price target of $5.48 a share. Now, I would only buy this one on a dip. This is why I'm bringing it up in this video so you can be prepared and you know what to look for in terms of a dip. Do not chase these up. There will always be another play. You already know. Proper preparation prevents poor performance to five Ps. You got to be prepared. You do not want to be surprised, baby. So when am I striking on this? If I see this and my strike price, aka my buy price, if I got $300, if you follow in the channel, you already know how this go. We put 100 on every one. And now scale this up to either fractional shares or whatever makes sense for your income situation. All right, so if I see this hit $2, pow, I'm putting my first 100 on it. If I see it hit 189, pow, I'm putting another 100 on it. If I see it hit 150, pow, I'm putting my last 100 on that, and then I'm riding this one right back up to the moon, baby. And when am I getting out? I'm getting out at like $4, or I'm getting out of like $6. You do your own research so you don't come crying back to me. You do your own research and then you figure out how much risk tolerance you have and when you want to get in or get out. I'm a guide here. It's like I'm a coach. All I can do is write up the play, but you got to run the ball. Okay, so now, if you got in with us, make sure your stop loss is tight on like 20%. On a, on a volatile stock like this, you got to be able to get kicked out of it if it drops on you like crazy. But only if you're up by a good amount. All right, now, let's get to the next one. And I told y'all about this one, like on Friday, but I need y'all to know I'm really looking at this one. So let's get to it. It's Palatin Technologies. I think I said it right this time. Maybe not. It is what it is. Gotta get over it. So ticker symbol PTN. Five stock analysts have rated this one. No, actually three. Three Wall Street stock analysts rated this one. Three said it was a buy. Zero say it was a hold. And zero say it was a sell. Now, they think this one is also gonna 5 X in under a year. Now they are a biopharmaceutical company that was founded in 1986. So they've been in the game and they develop therapies. And I try to tell y'all about this one, but you've been in the comments, some of us, and you didn't hear it correctly. So let's make sense of it. So they develop therapies for women with hypo, hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Hypoactive, not hyper. Hyper means like too much. Hypo means like not enough or below what's considered normal. All right, so they develop therapies to help women with hypoactive sexual desire disorder, also known as HSDD. Currently, they are uh, 68 cents a share. They're down 13% on a the day. They're up 
59% on a week and they're down 15% on a year. And a five-star analyst named John Newman, which we talked about this one, he said that their FDA-approved medication is gaining commercial progress. And along with that and other things, that's going to lead this stock upwards. Now, what are the stock analyst price targets on this one? So, so far, on the high end, they got $3. On the low end, they got $1.50. $1.50. And on the median, $2.17. And this is in under a year. So this is why this one is on the radar, because we're looking for a buying opportunity on this. Now, again, as more stock analysts catch on to these things, you can imagine the price targets are going to go up and up and up. But some of these plays, Wall Street, aren't exactly up on yet. So here we go. And do not chase these. If it only hits the first strike price or only the first and the second and it never hits the third, we set the third one way back because we want to be prepared for a major correction or a major dip or even a recession. We want to be prepared. We don't want to be surprised. Okay, so you may never see the third one. Sometimes you may never even see the second one. And in a rare case, you may never even see the first one, but you don't chase. You go to another play. There is always another play. This is why I try to teach you how to fish. Okay, so now, when am I exiting this one? Or actually, when am I getting into it before we consider exiting? If I got $300, if I see this hit 50 cents, pow, I'm putting my first 100 on it, baby. And if I see it hit 40, pow, I'm putting another 100 on it. If I see it hit 30, I'm putting another 100 on it. And then we're going to ride the wave back up. You could consider buying now, but I want to stress this. Do your own research and you can set your own strike prices. I'm trying to show you how I do it. And this is why I win so much on the stock market because I'm not being greedy. I'm being actively informed on the statistics and everything that's going on with the fluctuations in the graph and so on and so forth. So now let's get it going. When am I exiting this one? I'm exiting this one at $1 or $2, depending on the risk tolerance that I'm comfortable with. This is why I tell you to do your own research. You got to just keep in mind, what's your risk tolerance? Are you waiting for this one to go to three, four? Sometimes it goes even higher. But if you want to win consistently on the stock market, you got to be consistently patient enough and informed enough to know that you did enough. You're going to take your win and you're going to go. Okay. So now I'm exiting this one at one or two. And again, don't be greedy. Next one on the list is synchronous technologies. I brought this one up a minute ago, but we got to bring it back up because this one is on the list this week. I'm looking for this one. Now, stock analysts, they think this one is going to like 2x, maybe even 3x. So they're a cloud-based software company. They were founded in 2000. And if you got in with us last week and you got in, actually, when I brought it up, you got in at like $3.69. So set your, tra your trailing stop loss on that. Just know. And they are knocking their earnings out of the park. This is another one who Wall Street is kind of sleep on, but they're knocking their earnings way out of the park. And they had 80% of their revenue is, is actually reoccurring payments. 52% of their revenue comes from cloud and uh, customers like AT&T and Verizon. 30% of their revenue, revenue comes from messaging and customers like T-Mobile. 18% of their revenue comes from digital consumers uh, with customers like Amazon. So they are really doing it big. And Wall Street is really not up on this one yet. So currently, they are $4.40 a share. They're down 6% on a day. They're up 14% on a week. And they're down 2% on a year. Now, they have two buy ratings from stock analysts. Zero holds, zero sales. And their price targets on the high end is $9. On the low end is $6.50. And on the median is now $7.75. I'm not touching this one in the $4 range. I'm barely even touching this one in the three dollar range if it hit three dollars even that's my first strike price bow if i got three hundred dollars i'm putting my first hundred on that bow if i seen it hit 250 i'm putting my next hundred on that bow if i seen it hit a dollar i'm putting my next hundred on that bow and then i'm done and then i'm done and then i'm gonna see what it do and i'm gonna be patient and let it run up we do not sell low we buy low and we sell high if you buy something and it drops on you this is not financial advice let's be clear on that but if you buy something that's dropping on you, you got to be patient. You got to do your research. And I do not sell lower than I bought it for. Okay. Last one on the list. Last but not least, this is a major one. This is not a penny stock like the other ones, right? This is Airbnb. Now, this one is going to be $300. I want to say in four years, maybe, maybe even three. $300 play. This is a long-term play if you're looking to increase your position in some strong companies so that you can have a stronger stomach for the stock market because I always tell you, it takes a strong mind to find some good hot stocks, but it takes a stronger stomach to be able to hold on to them during these dips. They have you feel like you at Six Flags. You already know. So now, Airbnb, they IPO'd on the 9th. 
they shot all the way up to 174. We know that was crazy, right? And then they dropped back down a good amount. But five Wall Street analysts said this as a rating. Three gave it a buy, one gave it a hold, and one gave it a sell. Now they're updating their price targets as time goes on because the high was 135. But now it's 180. The low is still 75 and the median is still 95, right? Or no, the median was 95. Okay, the median was 95 and now it's 123. So shout out to Airbnb. Look, we already knew this one was going to take us to the moon and it's a long term play. So even if it does drop and you bought in, personally, I would just buy more because I don't plan on selling this one. This one is much more of an investment that can 10x, 5x in the long term. Okay, so now. When am I buying this? Let's say that I got $300 again. And remember, use fractional shares or scale up to what makes sense to you and your income level. So here we go. If I got, if I see this right now, if I see this right, right now, I'm buying it as it is right now. Bow, $100. If I see it at 150, I'm buying that too. Bow, $100. If I see it at 120, I'm buying that too. Bow. And then let's say that I put all of my money in my $300 and it drop, drop, drop to 100. Oh man, I just lost money. No, you didn't lose money. You lose when you sell. You lose when you sell, especially in a long-term investment like this. This thing is gonna double, triple if you just hold on long enough. This is why you gotta be prepared for the stock market. It doesn't only go up. Sometimes it's even gonna correct. And I'm honestly interested in seeing how many of my people who are my subscribers now, how you react when a recession finally does come, because I'm trying to get you prepared for those kind of dips, because a recession is known as the great transfer of wealth. This is when people who own all of the stocks are losing all of their money, and they give us a chance, us regular folks, to buy on in for the low prices, and then transfer their wealth onto you, and you ride it out to the moon. All right, so now when am I exiting this one? I said this before, I'll say it again. I'm exiting Airbnb the day that people no longer need rooms. AKA never comment of the day comment of the day is this today was a red day, but I averaged out the loss. I had $300 to put my first hundred dollars in ETH. I think it means Ethereum. I think that's the, the ticket for Ethereum cryptocurrency. Then it dropped. I put my second hundred in the old me would have put the whole 300 in at once, but not the new me, the new me averages down and always remembers the five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Now again, shout out to you for that. You know why? Because some of us get so excited to jump in on cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum, all these other cryptocurrencies, or even stocks like Neo, Tesla, even any of these hot stocks, right? You get so pumped up and ready to just invest into it that what happens is you put all your money in a hot stock at one time, boom, and then it drops. And then you mad for two reasons. The first reason is the money you put in dropped immediately. The second reason is you don't have money now to buy the dip. But if you take your time and you exercise patience and you don't try to be greedy and you don't get FOMO, the fear of missing out, and you just take your time, then you will win on the stock market. Just exercise some patience. Okay, good. Shout out to you for that, man. And I want y'all to know this. If you haven't diversified, diversify. That means have cash and all different other kinds of stocks, foreign stocks, domestic stocks, utility-based stocks, all kinds of different stocks. Have those kinds of stocks. I'm serious about that. You need to diversify your portfolio. That's how you get that strong stomach, baby. That's how you get that strong stomach. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, let them know in the comments what they could do if they can't handle the heat. <laughs> and if you wanna support the channel, I'll usually put my Weibo in the top comment I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. I try my best not to be greedy on that, but I see that y'all using the link. So I wanted to just say thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all really doing well in supporting the channel. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. I love y'all. Peace.